I just didn't feel like people were trying, they didn't care. I just wanted people to see what you can do, you know, and I just wanted people to see that if you actually put the effort in, you get the results, you get the shop, you get the customers, you can make this hobby work. So as I went on, I realised I wanted to do more. I wanted to create a revolution, the Solly revolution. Greetings revolutionaries. So today we're going to get our hands right involved with the tank. We're going to go in and do one of them jobs that, you know, we all want to put off. And it's just going to be a little bit of hand algae removal. So we're going to get in all the nooks and crannies, somewhere where maybe your snails aren't getting or your fish aren't getting. And just help your tank out by removing a little bit of algae. It'll also really help you to know where you've got any problems or issues maybe sprouting from or you've got any rogue sort of um, algaes in there that you weren't sure that you had. So we're going to get our hands in, get really close up and personal with it and really try and make that sort of add that little 5% improvement which will make an overall massive difference to your tank. So today we're going to do one of them jobs that a lot of people put off and that's just going to be manual algae removal. So sometimes, like we have in this tank, we've accidentally introduced some macro algae it's grown a little bit too much, more than we wanted it to, so we're going to just manually remove it. It's one of them jobs that you could probably do once every month or so, or as required. We're just going to get our hands in the tank, pull some out, and just see what the difference that's going to make. 